In the Mediterranean, the octopus has neither the proportions nor temperament of a monster. It is small and shy. Captain Cousteau approaches Monaco's renowned oceanographic museum, of which he is in charge. We cut them and uh, in order to bring them... At the museum, the Cousteau plans laboratory studies of the octopus with scientists Andrew Packard and Jeffrey Sanders. You have them in the, in the lab? Well, we're going to bring this one. Oh, this one? Yes, and oh. we have uh, other ones that we cut last week. Very good. Captain Cousteau will have this female octopus, recently caught in the Mediterranean, transferred for potential mating to an aquarium in the basement of the museum. In the wild, for the octopus, finding a mate is a matter of chance. Placed in a tank with a male, the female begins to clean her suction cups. As his great cloud of ink spewed from his breathing funnel confuses his enemies, so does his legend obscure the truth about him. Artists and writers long depicted octopuses as gigantic bloodthirsty creatures, powerful enough to crush ships. Dubbed devilfish, they were hideous of appearance, ferocious and hungry. Victor Hugo wrote, the horrible tentacles are tough as steel, cold as night. The octopus draws you to him. Powerless, you feel yourself emptied into the horrible pouch, which is the monster itself. The tearing of the flesh is terrible.
Let's look closely at an eye. It is easily moved up and down and hides by tiny muscles. Your eyelid covers the front part of your round. Whether you need glasses or have normal sight, take care of your eyes. Keep sharp points away from your eyes. That goes for sticks, knives, and pencils, too. Sing the happy and glappy song that they sing at Carnival Town. 